Jim, a 2-2 two -two draw here at Easter Road, what were your thoughts? Uh, prior to the game, James, I think people probably would have um, thought uh, a point here would be a, a good result and, and probably would expect myself and the, the group to be satisfied and to be pleased with that. But I'm standing here really frustrated because I felt that we should have uh, we should have won the game and we should have three points to show for it. First half, I thought we were excellent. I thought we really got in Hibbs' faces. We didn't allow them any time on the ball. We didn't allow them to get any rhythm whatsoever in the game. And, um, you know, deservedly got our goal and a brilliant goal from Eamon Brophy. And uh, I'm delighted for him. And, you know, that should be his third goal in six league games uh, because of that one chalked off last week. Uh, wrongly, in my opinion, it's only his second on the books, but uh, he should be on three and six just now, which is a good return for any striker. Um, I thought second half, in fairness to Hibbs, they started the second half really, really good. Penned his back for the first maybe six, seven minutes. Uh, we were wanting to make a change and tactically we were trying to get that change made, but there was a set play, uh, a corner, which obviously we don't want to change it at that point, and then you know it leads to the goal. But um, yeah, I mean, look, all in all, I suppose a point is a decent result, but the manner of the goals that we've conceded is what really, really frustrates me. Um, you know, Paul McGinn is in acres of space. For the first one, you could say it's a brilliant ball from Scotty Allen. We know the quality that he's got. Um, the second one, for me, James, is the big talking point, and it's another one of those big decisions that seems to continuously go against us. In the last three, ga three games prior to today, we have had a, a goal chalked off wrongly, uh, two for offside and one for a foul that wasn't a foul. And then today, we've had a, a penalty given against us, which, for me is a really, really poor decision from the referee. And I think when people watch it back, they'll see at the start of it, there is a little bit of grappling between Porteous and Miller. You could have given a free the other way, uh, to be quite honest. But before Porteous goes to ground, Matt Miller, in his defence, completely pulls his arms away. And I hope there's a good angle behind the goal um, to prove that. And Porteous just falls over. That's a really big decision. He falls over for the penalty. People will say it's clever from him, but in my opinion, the, the referee needs to, needs to be stronger and not award that. Despite your frustrations, how pleased were you with the, the battling qualities of the team, especially to, to keep going right until the end and, and getting that equaliser? Yeah, that, I don't ever question the character or the commitment of the players. You know, we're in this together. Uh, there's a real togetherness among the group. You know, the staff and the players were all on the same page. Um, you know, not just the starting 11, but there's a lot of guys disappointed every single week. The squad's quite big and, you know, probably bigger than I had anticipated it being, but. You know, there's guys that aren't even here in the 18 today who you know are at home and probably you know deserve to be a part of the, the match day squad but you know I can only pick 18 and um, the boys I went with I thought today were excellent I thought the subs that came on contributed and made a difference as well and um, you know it's testament to their character that they kept going in the manner that they did um, to get that goal so late on you know and even before that we have you know big Joe's got another header that's came off the, the crossbar you know, it's just little small margins, James, at the moment. You know, those key decisions um, that are kind of costing us, and you know, some of them, are not a great deal we can do about. Unfortunately, you talk about Brophy's goal today, but his all-round performance as well, potentially his best in, in St Mirren's colours. Yeah, I mean, look, I thought he was excellent last weekend as well. I have to say, and I thought him and Curtis Main were were really, really good. We went with a system today. Um, you know, normally I do like playing with the. The two strikers up top, but um, we went with a system today that we felt would cause Hibbs problems, and I think in the first half it did. I thought we had that overload in the middle of the park. I thought we got Connor Ronan and Jamie McGrath on the ball in good areas behind Hibbs's midfield, and they were dropping into good pockets of space. You know, taking it on the half turn, driving at the Hibbs back line, um, and in fact that's where the goal you know comes from. Connor Ronan, he's got great balance, as everybody can see. Um, you know, other players maybe would have took a touch and went backwards. Connor. You know, drops the shoulder, lets it run through him, and he drives up the park, and that's what leads to the the aim and Brophy goal. But I'm delighted for Brophy. You know, strikers will always be judged on goals, and as I said there at the beginning of the interview, I think Eamon should be on three goals in six games. And you know, people keep telling me, oh, the goals aren't there, the goals aren't there. As I said, you know, Curtis Main scored a good goal at Celtic Park. They should have stood. Um, Eamon scored a good goal against United. They should have stood. And Conor McCarthy should be up and running as well because his goal against St Johnston was a was a good header from a free kick, which was chalked off for offside wrongly again. So look, people will probably listen to this interview and you know be sick of me moaning and probably say I should be a bit more diplomatic and maybe give more credit to the opposition. Sometimes I can only 
call it how I see it. I try and be honest in every single interview that I see. I don't believe, um, you know, I, I try not to pull the wool over anybody's eyes. When we're poor, I, I think I, I admit that. And when we're good, I, I think I try and be honest with that as well without going over the top. I thought today we were excellent. I thought Hibs were really good for the first 15 minutes of the second half and caused us a lot of problems. After that, I didn't think there was a great deal between the two teams. Just lastly, there was a noisy travelling support here today. What difference does that make? They were brilliant and it was great to have them in. And, and I think, um, you know, away fans in any ground really just adds to the atmosphere, you know, and uh, that's the way we want it. You know, it, it feels normal. It feels good to have this kind of atmosphere. It's a great stadium here, you know, and I really do enjoy coming here as manager. I love coming here as a player. Um, you know, the Hibs fans are they always generate a good atmosphere, but I thought our guys were very, very noisy and I could hear them most of the afternoon, which was brilliant. And um, I'm delighted... You know, they all stayed around uh, to witness Joe Shaughnessy's goal, but also to show their appreciation to the players and to give the players the opportunity to show their appreciation back as well. So, uh, yeah, the support has been outstanding up to now. We just were desperate to turn these draws into victories, and um, I don't think we're too far away. Jim, thanks very much for your time. Thanks, James.